what is going on guys it is bear here and i'm bringing you another tutorial and it's been a while it's been roughly um it's been a week actually since i've uploaded since then but um i've been busy with the launch of mellow and if you guys haven't gone to mellow and like check it out and subscribe then uh please do so and we just launched our promo came out two days ago or yeah two days ago and uh fusions edit just came up today so just stop by that channel and check out some videos if you like watching us uh, speed arts and edits a really good channel but um this uh tutorial is going to be uh mario and if you don't know what the mario is or what mario actually is then you can head over to my port or you can just type it in google and type in a uh, six like super mario or something and uh, this will come up so well not, well not exactly this but uh something like this will come up so we're gonna try to recreate this but in like a youtube banner style so what i did is i opened up my port and i'm gonna be doing the same thing i did for my xbox style i'm gonna have a uh, little boxes here with the colors i used to do this so um let's get right into the tutorial we're gonna go from uh the ground then to the background the ground's probably gonna be like, the easiest part so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into google and uh you can like type in 8-bit mario game and this stuff's gonna come up and we're going to try to find a ground that's really good like this, but we're going to try to see one that doesn't cover, or that like has like a little showing like almost all everything. So I think this is good. Let's let it load. All right, we're going to use this actually, because this is actually really nice. And we have extra stuff here. So we're going to find a picture like this. Uh, I'll leave a link or when I get, oh my God, excuse me. Uh, when this video hits 50 likes, I'll release a uh, pack, and it'll be full of everything I used for this picture, or for this uh, banner. So, now that we have that, we're gonna just going to open it, or we can just copy and paste it, but I saved it for specific reasons. So, we can just open it, and uh, we're going to double click the layer so it unlocks, and we're going to send a go over, and we're going to delete the whole sky. And we're going to take this moving tool, and we're going to drag it into our layout. And uh, this is where we're going to zoom in and uh, kind of get a feel for where we want the the ground to be, like how high. And this is way too high. So I'm going to take it, Control T to scale down, holding Shift to make it smaller. And uh, we can't make it too big, but it can't be too small. we got to make it the right size. So I think that's good. So we're just going to click uh, Apply, and I'll move this down a little bit. So... Is that good? Maybe a little bit smaller, actually. Yeah, that's good. So now we're going to take this and we're going to move it all the way to uh, the side. And then you hit Control-J to duplicate the layer. Move and then connect those. Move Control-J again. And uh, make it so it looks like they're like kind of connecting, I guess. Like, you don't want them to be like weird. So... There we go. And then lastly, control J and make another one. So this part's actually the probably the easiest part is just getting the the semi background done. So now that we have the the, the actual ground done, we're gonna merge all these layers and I'm gonna rename it uh ground just so we know. And uh, we're gonna have the our layer, our background layer. Alright, I'm going to our background layer, and we're going to try to get a nice blue color, and the easiest way to do this is if you just copy a picture, and then click your uh, your eyedrop tool and just click it, and then you're going to press control and click right here, and it highlights everything, and if you guys want to get the same blue I'm using, uh, just copy down this, you can just pause the video, and then once we have that blue, we're just going to click here, and I like this blue, but um, actually... I don't know. Let's look at Mario. Like, uh, the blue. Maybe the blue's a little too like vibrant. We gotta like make it a little more dull. So we just go like that. And uh, this color is like all like what you want. So I like that color. So I keep clicking that. My bad. I feel like I'm in a speed art. But um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna want to add uh the sky, which means we're gonna want to add the clouds. So. This picture actually has both clouds, so you can just copy it again. Or if you this video has 50 likes while you are watching, you can just uh, download the pack and open up the same picture I'm using right now. So there we go. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna zoom in all the way, and we're gonna double click this layer to unlock once again. And then 
we're just going to slowly just take out this cloud. Just make it transparent. And you can use a transparent tool, but uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't think it's totally what it is. So. And uh, if you guys want, I'm probably going to put all this stuff in my pack. So 50 likes and you'll get like the transparent clouds and everything like that. So. If you just zoom in now, get these like circles, uh, rectangles and stuff out of the way. This is probably the most time consuming part, honestly, because you can't like do it half fast and like screw it up because then it will be noticeably weird. But if you do make the background the same color, you can get away with that. Uh. So, if you guys haven't seen my like, been like subscribed to my YouTube channel, we hit 400. Uh, not not that long ago, like maybe like two weeks ago, and I'm almost at 450 right now, which is actually pretty cool. Like I've almost gained 100 subscribers in a month. And like I've only had my channel since uh, I want to say April, but I haven't really put effort into it until like midsummer. So it's pretty awesome. So we're getting near the end of this, and I probably missed a few or went too far in some, but it's only a tutorial, and you guys are going to be getting the benefit of the doubt because. You can either fast forward this part or you can just do it yourself. Unless the pack is up, then you can just download the pack, which would be probably the best. And, uh, yep, there we go. And you're going to keep the blue inside the cloud done. So, what I'm going to do is, since I have that all transparent, I'm just going to hit Control J on the cloud. And I'm going to bring it into my, uh, my background. And the cloud's way too big, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit. Like that, and uh, we're just gonna place these uh, around them, around like the world. So pull them there. You can pull them like right here. Pull them over here. Just kind of try to like, even them out and stuff, because there's gonna be more than these clouds being added. So we have those four. So now we're we're gonna go back, and since that's one cloud, we're gonna go to the like the triple cloud. And this is gonna be like you use this like maybe twice in like, the whole banner. So, if I can do it with this, maybe it'll make it a little easier. Nah, it goes on even. It's annoying. Ah. <sighs> So uh, if you guys have any ideas what I should do for uh, Christmas, please tell me in the comments because I'm at ideas. I've been just doing tutorials lately, and like they're fun and all, but as you see, it took me a week to do this one. Like I promised you guys I'd be done in, like in two days, but been a little busy. But um, just gonna get this done maybe a little faster than I took for the other one. But uh, yeah, with the ideas for Christmas, I was gonna put together a Christmas pack, but like I don't know what to throw in there. Like the frat pack just came out, and, like everyone has that now. It got leaked, but it's just like I don't know what to do because I can't make a pack like that because I'm not really that good. So it happens. But I might do like a giveaway, like a banner giveaway, or like custom like to lessons and stuff like that, custom overlays. Just a big pack full of stuff I've made, like pre-made stuff that you can use, which would be pretty helpful for the new coming designers, like either to steal and use or to uh, look at and how I created it to get ideas and like as a reference. But we'll just we'll see. So if you guys are doing this while I'm doing it, um, this takes forever, as you can tell. How many minutes are we in this tutorial? It's nine minutes into it, and we barely got any done yet. So as you tell, this is a pretty, uh, it's gonna be a pretty lengthy tutorial. And uh, oh, fuck you, Photoshop. What the fuck? 
Uh, there we go. So, we're just going to try to get this done. Because I know you guys don't like probably watching me click around the whole time. And I don't want to, like, pause the video because then I'll probably forget to start it again. I'll keep talking. And then I stop the video at 10 minutes. And I was like, wow, that was really easy. And I didn't get, like, more than half of it done. But uh, the rest should come soon. The rest is easy, like, cutting out. This one's just annoying because it's a cloud. As I said before, you can use a magic wand tool. I'm just not a fan of it. I just feel like it gives me like a weird outline of it. And sometimes I doesn't even get to the black. It just like curves it around and then totally defeats the purpose of me using it. Uh, also, uh, this channel, like Bear Designs, isn't going to be used only for graphics now because I'm almost healed with my uh, shoulder blade and my shoulder. So. I'm probably going to go back out skiing, uh, maybe this Christmas break, hopefully, see how my doctor uh, lets me, and I'm going to get that done, I'm going to make probably make like a couple like Christmas edits and like season edit and everything like that, excuse me, but I'm also going to be doing like lacrosse edits and like, oh jeez, it's like in real life stuff, because I like uploading only graphics, but I feel like you guys should like, just like have more stuff to watch if you guys are active, like, I get like 200 views per video, like I don't spam, and most of them get like 200 plus, which feels pretty nice, because like people actually care, but I'm probably going to be using this channel for more than just uh, graphics, just to let you guys know. So I'm just going to take this, control J the cloud, so it duplicates the layer, hit the moving tool, and then drag it into my uh, layout, scale it down of course, because it's really big. So with these, you don't want to put everywhere. You just put some places. And like you're gonna like have it like coming out of like the side of the map. Alright, I'm gonna put another cloud uh right here. Alright. So now that we have that done. We're gonna next work on uh, this kind of like area with all the other stuff in it. And we're gonna add, uh, I kinda wanna add the box first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Google and we're gonna find uh, a good uh, example of what the box is used as. So if I go to 8-Bit Mario, I'll go to start. And see if we can find some, there it is. So uh, there we go. And this is, what, uh, this is what it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, so actually I'll just save this. And then I'll open it. So now we have that. And uh, I'll be giving you guys this font. But what we're going to do is we're going to pen, not pen tool, but we're going to take out, we're going to double click the layer so it unlocks first. Then we're going to take that, this part. Oh yeah, if you guys don't unlock the layer, by the way, uh, you're going to get a uh, really, really uh, bad experience because it doesn't like actually uh, take away the like background. It just like adds a white background on it or whatever. Uh, I think your background color is. So, FYI for that. I just checked my Skype messages too. I don't like how like they just go up. Like it's only four, but like I go to school and I come home and it's like fifty. I'm just like leave me alone. But, um, this, this is easy. This is not that much box deleting. And I use uh, this box a rectangle tool, by the way, to do this, if anyone's wondering. I'm pretty sure you guys would know. So now we have that. We're just going to copy it. Control J. So it duplicates, so we only have the layer. We're going to bring it in, and uh, we're going to center it. So we're just going to click that, we're going to keep uh, scaling it down. And uh, where you how, like, where you put it and like how high and how low is uh, totally up to you. It depends how you want to do it. So I'm gonna get like, the basic startup menu like that. That size is pretty good. So we're just gonna put this above all the clouds and stuff. So that's like that. We can move it up. We can move it down. I'm gonna keep it up a little bit so we have like room. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and create a new layer. 
and we're going to take the eyedrop tool and click it above the text. Then you can take the pen tool, which would be easier, and you just click around everywhere, like right here. Click to the end, hit right click, fill path, color, and then just click this again, I guess. And uh, as you see, sometimes my color isn't really the color it actually is, so I'm going to need to experiment with this. See? Uh, what I can do is I can go to right click. If yours does this too, you can go to right click, color overlay. And just click, kind of like mess around. There we go. It's gone. So next is going to be uh, text. And uh, this font I used is. Dare Refrax is now following me. Hell yeah. But um, I think it's called Super Mario. Super Mario Bros. Yep, Super Mario Bros. 3. So we can put a. Bear, always in lowercase, by the way. Always in lowercase. There's no such thing as uppercase for this. So we can to get the color we want for the text. Uh, we just had to hide that layer. And like just click the eyedrop tool and then make it back. And uh, I don't think this part really matters that much. It looks exactly like the color. So uh, we can put a. Bear. And you can either center it or do it like they do in like the actual Mario thing. So it could be like bear like bear graphics, I guess. No, oh, that sounds weird. Big bear designs. And uh, you don't want it that close to each other, but you don't want it to be like that off, so something like this. And uh they have the bottom text a lot bigger, so what we're going to do is take this, click this page tool, make it a little bigger, and what we're going to do is uh, take this and like make it like taller. So then we move it over, and we bring it down a little bit. And now you can make bear a, a little taller as well, and a little. So now we have that, we're going to hit control J on like whatever one you want bring the copy below the original go to blending options uh, color overlay make it black hit ok click the arrow tool and go one two three three four down and th three to the right yeah four down and three to the right so you go to the designs control J bring the copy below go to blending options color overlay make it black one two three four one two three so now we have the text done and uh, it's not as pixelated as this is but uh, it doesn't really matter that much so we're gonna be adding the text above it now and what we can do here is we can put like put make it a text white now because you're not gonna need that like, pink it's like salmon color That was weird. This text just made itself really, really small. Oh my god. So complicated. It's, hopefully yours doesn't do that. That was really annoying. But, um. Click it and be like. I gotta scale it down again. Uh. Welcome. I spelled welcome wrong. Big welcome to. Bears. Welcome to Bears Design World. Or like something something like stupid like that. Or what you can do is you can copy uh Nintendo what they did for exactly so you can play nineteen eighty five Nintendo. Or you can put uh since when your channel is made, so I can be like two thousand fourteen uh YouTube. That's not how you spell YouTube. There you go. And uh, I'm going to make 2014 a little bigger. And uh, what color is that? That's like that beige color again, but a little brighter. So I'm going to click here on that beige color and make it 
little brighter. And I'm just gonna drag it and put it like right here. I'm gonna put it under the thing. And we can add that C with a circle around it, but that's gonna be too much work, so I'm gonna leave that be. So next thing is gonna say uh, player one, player two. So what we can do for that is go back to the text tool, go back to white, and be like uh, portfolio one, or actually you can be like social media portfolio. And uh, make sure it's like kind of even, not really. It's like not gonna be like super even, but you're gonna kind of want it somewhere like that. And just kind of maybe space out the letters a little bit. Like social media portfolio, you can be like YouTube channel. And like, don't get me wrong, you can copy like everything exactly, but uh, it's kind of nice to throw up your own twists on stuff. So, I don't like how big these are, so make them smaller. I don't know how big the other one was. Shit. Um, 1201. <sighs> Alright. So now we have that. We're just going to kind of even those out again. And, uh, kind of like center it. But it seems to be like an off center. Oh, I'm getting really tired right now. But next, we're gonna be doing. Uh, they're gonna do like the above part, and you can see that, but like there, like a thing. So we're gonna take uh, the tool again, and let's see what they do. They do Mario, so you can do whatever your name is. Obviously, mine's Bear, so make it probably like 18, maybe. No, maybe some of them, maybe like 6, 15, 14. That's not changing size. Yeah, like 15. And we're going to put that there, and we're going to go and put a... Uh, how many numbers is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 6 numbers, so you can put a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the last one would be 6. So then we take that, move it right there, and uh, you can just kind of like raise this a little bit. I think I use a different font for that one. Actually, no, I didn't, I squished it a little bit. So, you're gonna go back to this and you're gonna take this tallness, kinda like squish it, so, be like 100. And bring this back to 100. And now, with that being done, you can uh, make the size bigger. And uh, it's not going to be evenly spaced with that, so right there is good. Except for bear needs to be like on top of the numbers. There you go. Then you're going to put a uh, an X in how many ever however many coin things you can be like X. Let's just say four like. 441 how many subs I have and uh, the size is gonna be a little bit bigger so then that's gonna go like right here you can put a uh, world be like one dash yeah, I doesn't like doing dashes, so I'll be like one one, and then I press that get a dash, so it's like that. And uh, you can like make sure these are actually like on top of each other, which is pretty much what I do sometimes. And you can put time. Uh, some people do, I guess I can. Actually, I don't say some people do because I don't really see that, this style around that much. So time would be evened out with a uh, world on top. 
and it would be like kind of off. So that's done. We next we're going to be wanting to add uh, all like the extra stuff, which means we're going to want to add this coin here. So what we can do is go to uh, like this, and I already have that. So we can go here. I gotta reopen it, but uh, we have to like, copy the coin out of something. If you go to my portfolio, you can just copy it out of my portfolio, or you can copy it out of uh, my pack, depending on the amount of likes. Or you can just come here, hit Control J on this layer after it's unlocked, hide that, and then just delete this, which would be a lot faster. How many minutes, man? 25. So yeah, this is a pretty lengthy tutorial, but uh, I'm pretty sure the outcome is a lot better than what you would do if you just did it on your own. So now you have that. You're gonna put that there, scale it down, obviously, and then put it right here, right next to the X. All right. Now that we have that done, we have like the main thing done, we're going to be starting to add grass. So what we can do is we can find this grass. So after we use that, uh, hide that. Just come down here. Take this. You can like control J this. Not control. Oh, so annoying. Hit control J. Hide that. And then pen tool this out. So, this is going to take a little bit again. Okay, so now that we have this not even done yet, time to find more stuff to talk about. Uh, if you guys like these videos, uh, please let me know. Let's put that through. Uh, I get a lot of Skype messages about how much they like them and how much I should do them more. But uh, you guys gotta like understand that I run out of ideas. Like I'm trying to do banners because most of the tutorials I see are like enhancement tutorials or like how to do like stuff that would help your banners not like actually how to do them so like i try to do these like as fast as i can like these banners usually take me like about like two hours to do because i spend a lot more time on them and like i actually do this like stuff precisely i'm gonna try to do this like fast and get it done with but um if you guys have like any ideas just like let me know because i don't know what to do after this because i'm pretty much out of ideas unless someone comes but other than doing our backing tutorial or like how to use enhancements or make them but like I don't know if you guys would enjoy that because like most of my subscribers came from doing banner tutorials and there's not that many new styles I have except for I do have the one I did for sick that I've yet to do another banner with uh, just stuff like that but uh I do take requests on Skype. I used to have like a Google Docs thing, but no one really used it. I get like five people like a month, and it just got like weird. So get rid of it. But uh, if you add me on Skype, my all my stuff will be in the description. Then you can totally just like hit me up and like tell me what I should do next, and I'll probably do it because I'm trying to make my subs happy. So now we have the grass done. We're just gonna Control J it, and then drag it in the bears layout or whatever layout you're using. Of course, you're going to scale it down again. Make it look like grass. And then Control J when you just want to move it like that. Alright. Next, we're going to add uh, this, like, whatever the hell that is. And where you find that, I have no idea. There you go. That's an ugly color. And that's like a hacked version of Mario. So, we just gotta go on the hunt for one again. I'm gonna keep that picture, I think, because I like that. Um, hmm. 
<laughs> Wish my room looked like that. Alright. The struggle. Just not look up game starts, look up just the game. 8 bit Mario. Game. Uh, Alright, well, let's get this done. We can do the castle. I don't want to use that. We can use the key to the castle now, so we're gonna. Okay, that download on its own. So I'll just try that out there. And then open it. I think it starts with the one. Nope, wrong. Two. Nope, that's the wrong one. Oh, it starts with a D. Alright, so it's kind of a small castle, but, you know. We're not the richie of the rich, so we're gonna unlock that, and we're just gonna take this castle out. And uh, don't make make sure you don't delete anything on the flag, because that's next we're gonna be using. So. So now we have that done, you can uh, just like take it, control J it out of the thing, drag it in the layout again, and then put it wherever you want. You can put it like right here. Just gonna make it a nice size. Zoom in and then just like lay it down right there. And uh, you don't need to do, you can just add whatever you want. And so I'll grab the flag next. So if I go back to that one layer, you can move over here and just delete the flag. And if you guys want to know how I delete stuff, Control X is what I use because some people have to like right click or go to cut, delete. It's Control X to delete stuff. I said that in my previous tutorials and a very helpful tool. So, this circle's gonna be a pain in the ass, so. And what else, I was thinking about doing uh, speed uh, designs on Forza, which would be pretty awesome, It'd be like original, but I don't know, that'd kind of be like boring to watch after a while of me just spinning a car around, looking at decals. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Also, I was gonna do drawing lessons it's just like, I don't know what of or how to do them. Cause like I have my camera and I have like ideas. I just like have to go through with them. So to see if like this, I like, I'm switching up the tool I use cause it's just getting aggravating now. Oh, holy shit. This is long. And then click here. Hopefully it doesn't cut anything out that I shouldn't want it to. Nope, we Gucci. So let's go back up here. Delete that. And then so I'm going to take this out. Just control J that. And then drag it into the layout. Make it a tiny bit smaller. So, you can put that there. Next, we can just add uh, that mushroom thing at the start menu, what I forgot to do at the beginning. So, you just go to one of these, uh, one of these things, have them, yeah, this one has it. So, just to zoom in. Photoshop, Photoshop, Photoshop. So, how many minutes are we in? 34. So yeah, this is pretty 
Probably a pretty boring tutorial of me just clicking around, so sorry that sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoy, because it does take time to do, and 30 minutes is a good time, since I do have two intros to finish up by tonight, which is going to be really annoying. So I'm going to just take that, drag it in, you zoom in, just like take it. I'm just like put it over like my YouTube channel because that's what I'm on. And then we can just add uh, the question things like the whatever they're called, which is on the pictures and what picture? Oh, there's a picture I went through went past. Um. Can use this one. So save this picture and then open it up. It's something I can't. What the fuck? All right, looks like I can't double click that and unlock it. So I use this one. So I'll save that picture. Open that one up. Boom. <sighs> so I'm gonna take this out first because this is gonna be like the most annoying one to do. And all these pictures are off Google, by the way. So if anyone's curious, as I watch me do it. Let's keep going back to Google and looking at pictures. I actually wonder if, like, my color is similar to this. I can just change the contrast. So, let's check something out real quick. And uh, I'm going to be using those question marks, so. Let's take this. Control J. Move it into my barrels layout. Ah, oh, damn it. No, I can make it work. So, I'll take this. Make it a little bit smaller. And you can pen tool the whole thing out, but, uh. That was not my my to do list, so just take it. Do not make it that like size. So make it kind of small, and the smaller you make it, the less like it will be noticeable. So you can just go to like color balance and like make the blues like a darker. There you go. Like, you can't even tell the difference now. But we're just gonna add just a couple of those. Uh, question mark things so if we go back to this layout uh, we can just take I guess this one control J let's like bring it in and uh, make it not small but make it a good size and like you can just like put these like wherever you want. Like you can put like one like right here. You can put another one like over here. So this is the Mario style. And what you can do with this is you can add uh, like logos. Like I added the Twitter and I can add it that. You can add uh, like these people like Mario. Like if you want to add those, you can just go to 8-bit Mario characters. And uh, you can find like Princess Peach and like Mario, Bowser, everything. So if you want to do him, you can just like pen tool everything out and have him like jumping off of something. Or you can just uh, find like different stuff to add. But uh, this is pretty much the tutorial and very easy to do. As you see, it's very clean too and very like cool. 
So we didn't do the exact thing. We kind of switched it up in our own style, which is like what is the best thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoy. This has been 40 minutes of a tutorial. And if you guys enjoyed, please like and comment. If not, then just let me know in the comments. Don't dislike because that's for fags. But, um, yeah. Uh, if you have any tutorial requests, please, uh, ask me on Skype. Even, even comment. I'll re I read the comments anyway since I only get, like, 20 a video. If that, maybe 10. So, this has been Bear, and this has been the Mario style. And the PSD will come out, and pack will come out at 50 likes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment. Peace out.